For the past three weeks, I utilized my product design skills to redesign the new browser Arc, optimizing user problems and simplifying the library feature that could solve Arc's screen space issue. This is Redesigned with Nick Hill. Technology has evolved over the past 60 years at an incredible rate, with companies like Apple, Microsoft, Meta, and Google impacting our daily lives through connecting us to one another digitally. Yet in a world of connections, we are filled with distractions. But there's a company that's trying to build a new way of using the thing we love the most, the internet. The browser company recently gained popularity for their product, Arc, a new web browser that utilizes vertical tabs, customizable workspaces, and automatic tab deletion. But what if we could make it better? Good design is like baking a cake, and users are the ingredients. You may know that it takes some eggs, some flour, some chocolate chips, but deciding how much of each separates a great design from looking like it came out of an easy bake oven. So I spoke to seven users through interviews and surveys to learn more about how they used Arc. Four were from people I knew personally, and I recruit three more through the Arc Discord with a mix between Mac and Windows usage. For my conversations with these individuals, I found a variety of pain points and some data. I asked them to rate the features from a scale of one to 10, with 10 meeting all their needs effectively and one being none. Many of the users were students and highlighted that transitioning from different types of work proved to be somewhat challenging within Arc. Their issues were among three different themes, navigation, productivity, and visual design. Some of the main concerns were around exiting split screens and folder tabs, Arc's need for shortcut keys, and the lack of indication on which tabs are open, impacting the browser's performance through excessive tab usage. So how might we make Arc easier to navigate for students? This is CEO Josh Miller. And in 2023, he went on a product design podcast and highlighted something major. Arc isn't only the product, it's a proof of concept for the future. Where we went to with a new web browser, let alone a web browser as a new form of computing, which is our true uh, aspiration to build an internet computer. Cloud storage has gone so large that we are starting to utilize apps within our browser. Our Wi-Fi creates a world of information and the browser company is trying to create the bridge between them. So if we take a look at our initial goal, we are actually designing to increase accessibility of apps on a web page so that products like Notion are just as good in browser as an app on your computer. Let's try and find ways to maximize the screen space in Arc and simplify the app's navigation. I'll go through each theme and highlight the changes that we can make along with an explanation. First, the navigation. The library is a feature that encompasses a variety of customization options within Arc, but getting to it can require a lot of mouse movement and clicking. Let's see if we can find a way to make everything fit within the sidebar and main browser. I separate out the functionalities with ones that could be in the sidebar versus in the browser. Let's move the easels and media sections up to the right top bar, since these are the ones that will be reliant on dragging and dropping information into. We can click on them to have a dropdown of our different boards or pictures. Boosts allow for customization on websites through text and color. The feature in the library showcases all the previously customized sites. Let's move that to the current customize tool so that when clicked, it opens in the current window. Let's also add our contrast metric to see how our accessibility is impacted by our customization since people can share these sites. Let's take a look at the sidebar. The spaces feature helps create a new workspace, but there are already a few ways to do that through gestures or buttons. So this seems like it can be removed. With all our tabs in one place, why don't we add the archive tabs to a darkened button at the bottom of our space that when clicked, it opens up our history within the sidebar itself. We'll do something similar to the downloads, replacing the library button with the downloads. The only feature we left out was sharing a customized link for Arc. However, my research showcased that most users downloaded Arc through credible referrals, such as friends or creators that they watch. I think sharing Arc this way would require a little bit more gamification to be built out, but that would be a different adventure. Let's also add a search icon to the URL to indicate that we can search from this and create a new tab. Look at that. Now the features of the library are accessible through the sidebar and main browser screen space with clickable buttons, reducing the reliance on shortcut keys. Productivity and performance. Bookmark tabs are a great way to keep your most used web pages in one place, but closing them can get kind of tricky. In my research, a user mentioned that they wish closing the bookmark tabs was the same as the regular tabs. Let's see if we can find a way to do that. Let's remove the X, having users right-click the feature to get rid of the tab since it's less common, and allow for the tab to be closed by hovering over it and hitting the minus, similar to the daily active tabs below it. But how do we know what pinned or folder tabs are open? Let's see if we can find a visual indicator that works to tell users that a tab is open, as many of them mention initial confusion on where the tabs went and would align with Arc's goal of reducing excessive tab usage. Here are four styles that I've tried. 
It looks like outlines for the pin tab seem to be effective, and a dot or line similar to Apple's design of opened applications could be used to designate open bookmarks. And last but not least, let's look at split screens, the most raved about feature for my interviewees. However, the experience to open a split screen is a lot more delightful than it is to close. So let's add some other ways that we can do that, such as dragging the URL of the added split screen back to the sidebar, or dragging the web page out from the sidebar into its independent tab. We can still maneuver the order in where the tab sits on the sidebar, but we based on the parent tab that the split screen was added to. This gives users the same delightful experience in closing a split screen as it did when they opened one. We've simplified the library navigation, getting rid of its extra space completely and shifting the focus towards buttons, making Arc's features more ergonomic. We also address three core user issues that impact productivity and performance. We utilize visual indicators, consistency between closing tabs, and adding two gestural functionalities to separate out split screens. To the kind, hardworking folks at the browser company, I would love to work for you. I have a background in design and animation, and I would love to chat about the ways that I could benefit Arc's future. After it goes through some more user testing, I think this cake is ready to be served. <laughs>